DC has many heroes, but back in the 90s, DC Comics unleashed Lobo, the intergalactic bounty hunter with a personality as subtle as a brick to the face. This guy made Wolverine and Punisher look like they attended charm school. Picture this, a blue-skinned, cigar-chomping alien with a bad attitude and a motorcycle that probably had more personality than him. Now, fast forward to today where James Gunn is teasing us with Lobo images on social media and Jason Momoa is dropping hints about playing him. Can you imagine Aquaman trading in his trident for a chain and hook and ditching the oceans for the cosmic chaos of space? It's like casting a fish out of water, literally. But hey, that's showbiz for you. As Lobo revs up his cosmic chopper, it's clear that he's the embodiment of 90s comic book excess. He's got muscles on top of muscles a gruffness that makes Batman sound like a motivational speaker, and a penchant for mayhem that would give the Joker a run for his money. But here's the kicker. Lobo's popularity was so astronomical in the 90s that even Superman himself had to team up with him. Can you picture the Man of Steel and the main man sharing a cup of Space Joe and cracking jokes about their hair? It's like the ultimate cosmic odd couple. So as James Gunn and Jason Momoa dance with the idea of bringing Lobo to the big screen, just remember, the 90s gave us some wild comic book characters. But Lobo? Well, he's in a category all his own. It's going to be one heck of a ride if this cosmic biker rolls into the DC Cinematic Universe. And if you want to dive deeper into Lobo's lore, let's explore some interesting aspects of the character. Lobo, also known as the main man, is more than just a blue-skinned, cigar-chomping alien. He first appeared in the 90s as an intergalactic bounty hunter, creating a stir among fans with his dedication to collecting bounties and hunting almost anyone across the entire universe. Lobo's physical strength varies across different comic storylines, often depending on the writers. While he's consistently portrayed as superhuman, his strength has been depicted differently, from struggling to pick up objects like a car to effortlessly knocking out Superman with a single punch. Despite his brawny appearance, Lobo is surprisingly intelligent. He's an expert in various fields such as technology, stealth, tracking, and more. His knowledge extends to designing interstellar vehicles, speaking multiple intergalactic languages, and understanding various cultures across the galaxy. In a crossover miniseries, Lobo faced off against Wolverine, a character he was initially created to parody. The two engaged in a bar fight, and Wolverine easily overpowered Lobo, showcasing the popularity of Wolverine. Lobo's iconic, color-changing hair has raised questions among fans. While not a superpower, his hair color varies across different comic panels due to different artists' interpretations. Lobo's hair has been depicted as black, gray, purple, and deep green. One of Lobo's distinctive features is his cosmic chopper, the Spazfrag 666, also known as the Space Hog. This spacecraft, designed by Lobo, is an extraordinary vehicle in the DC Universe, capable of incredible speeds and traversing various environments. Lobo possesses a regenerative healing factor that makes him seemingly immortal. He can heal injuries, regenerate body parts, and even create clones from a drop of his blood. While challenging to kill, Lobo has faced setbacks in some storylines, like being knocked out by a powerful force field or separated from his body by a brain bomb injected by Batman. Lobo's promiscuous nature is well known in the DC Universe, with numerous comic panels depicting his interactions with various women. He has fathered many children across the cosmos, with his daughter Crush standing out among them. Lobo's ability to create self-clones adds another layer to his character. He can generate clones from a drop of his blood, and these clones possess all his powers. This ability has led to chaotic events, such as declaring war on the Apocalypse in the Young Justice series. While Lobo's live-action adaptation has been rumored multiple times, nothing concrete has been announced. Big names like Guy Ritchie, Brad Payton, and Jason Fuchs have been associated with the project. Jason Momoa has expressed interest in playing Lobo, and James Gunn has teased a new project involving the character, creating anticipation among fans. Lobo's larger-than-life presence in the comics and potential entry into the DC Cinematic Universe 
have fans eagerly awaiting the main man's on-screen debut. Whether it's his regenerative powers, self-cloning skills, or cosmic chopper, Lobo remains one of DC's most iconic and intriguing characters. Despite being regarded as a 90s comic superstar, Lobo first appeared in the now-forgotten 80s publication The Omega Men. That book, a spin-off of the New Teen Titans, was about a gang of interstellar freedom fighters. Omega Men No. 3, published in 1983, introduces the character as a Valporian bounty hunter, an alien race nearly annihilated by the Scions. Lobo was created by writer-artist Keith Giffen and became a regular in Omega Men for a couple of years. Keith Giffen later played a crucial role in relaunching the Justice League as Justice League International in 1987, a more comical take on DC's main squad. In this series, Lobo was resurrected with a new appearance resembling a Hell's Angel-style biker. The chalk-white, muscle-bound alien with a penchant for violence, cigars, and collecting bounties quickly became a fan favorite. Despite his tough exterior, Lobo had a soft spot for his space dolphins, showing a unique side of affection. He gained immense popularity after appearing in Justice League International, where he constantly referred to himself as the main man. Lobo's popularity led to his own miniseries in 1990, written by Keith Giffen and Alan Grant, with art by Simon Bisley. This series provided a fresh origin story, revealing Lobo's Tsarnian heritage. His name translates to, He who devours your entrails and thoroughly enjoys it. The miniseries embraced and parodied the 90s fascination with hyper-violent anti-heroes. Lobo's success continued with a popular ongoing series, crossovers with Superman and the Justice League, and even a fight against Wolverine in the Marvel vs. DC crossover event, which he lost. However, by the 2000s, Lobo's popularity had waned, and he had faded from the spotlight. He made appearances in DC animated series like Superman, Justice League Unlimited, and Young Justice. The idea of a Lobo movie has been in Hollywood's plans for years, with interest from directors like Guy Ritchie, Michael Bay, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Despite these efforts, a live-action Lobo only appeared as a guest star on the series Krypton. Recent social media posts by James Gunn have sparked speculation about Lobo's potential in the DC Extended Universe. Lobo's comedic and action-oriented characteristics align well with Gunn's style. Jason Momoa, who plays Aquaman in the DCEU, has expressed interest in the role of Lobo. While playing both characters might seem unconventional, actors have portrayed multiple roles in franchises like Star Trek. The potential for a Lobo movie in the DCEU, especially with James Gunn involved, raises excitement among fans. Lobo's unique character, portrayed through makeup and attitude, could offer a refreshing addition to the cinematic universe. The idea of Jason Momoa playing both Aquaman and Lobo adds to the intrigue with hopes that DC embraces the versatility of its actors. As for Lobo's name, the character's origin story includes a Kundian origin with a name like He Who Devours Your Entrails and Thoroughly Enjoys It. However, Lobo translates to wolf in Spanish and Portuguese, offering a more relatable and mysterious aspect to the character's name. Lobo's journey from the forgotten pages of the Omega Men to potential stardom in the DCEU showcases the enduring appeal of this 90s antihero. Whether devouring entrails or howling like a cosmic wolf, Lobo's enigmatic nature keeps fans intrigued. The possibility of a James Gunn-directed Lobo film with Jason Momoa in the lead adds a new chapter to the main man's wild cosmic adventures. And that's that for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to comment below and let us know which things impressed you the most. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.